okay so now the last bit that i wanted to cover is something on the pre trained tokenizer so you had done uh, this tokenization uh, you have trained the tokenizer now your goal is of course not to end with the tokenizer right you eventually you want to train a model right let's say you want to train the gpt style model or a bird style model right and now the tokenizer is just to sort of feed inputs to the model right it makes it easier to now convert your text data into a sequence of numbers which can then be fed to the model right so the model might want to have some more information as i had already mentioned there are these model specific spatial tokens uh, what to use for unknown whether to use padding or not right so all of this you could now sort of pack it into one class and then use that class while tokenizing and passing it to the model right so it's just like one more wrapper on top of everything that you have done uh, so this is the pre trained tokenizer class right and this is what i was saying that you had so many things that you had specified right now can you uh, just package all of this into one sort of uh, a single class right uh, that's what we are going to uh, do right because the model requires all of this information what is the attention mass to be used uh, then what are the different attributes what are the padding as i said all of this right so let's let's look at this so now we are going to import this class okay and now i am going to say that the tokenizer i have already trained uh, and i had saved it as hopper.json so i'll just keep it that i'm also mentioning what is the unknown token what is the pad token what are the model specific uh, what are the uh, attributes that i care about right the input ids the token types attention mask and all of this and i have put all of this into the pre trained tokenizer and created a an object of that this is just a warning so don't worry about it uh, now let's see what happens if i call it on an input right so this is what i want to give to the model this is i'm creating the inputs for the model so i'm going to pass it the text and it has generated all the inputs that the model needs what are the input it needed it needed the attention mask it needed the input ids and it needed the token token type id right so now uh, i've just simplified uh, like brought it to a level where now i can directly pass it to the model right so that's the idea of packaging everything into a pre trained tokenizer and now i can run this on the entire uh, data right so uh, if i do it on a pair of tokens then it will you can notice that the uh, spatial cls and sep tokens are here now where are they uh, oh there is um, there are no spatial tokens so because you have not mentioned that we needed spatial tokens sorry so that's why they are not here uh and but if we use the bird tokenizer those will also show up here right so that entire processing can be done uh on the entire data now and you get an output which is compatible with the input that your model is expecting right that's why i'm calling it as model inputs right and of course you can do it on the entire batch i'll do it on a batch of uh, three sentences here and uh, if you look at oops yeah so you get uh this output for the entire batch now you can see the attention mask has three vectors corresponding to the three sentences that i had uh now here there is no padding which has been done so you could now enable the padding also and now you have the right model inputs ready right so this is like a nice mm -hmm. matrix which has the padding done in it it has all the input ids it tells you where to pay attention and you can see you are not paying attention to the uh, pads right uh so this is very useful during model training and uh, we will see it more when we start training the model uh and you all you have to do is just pass it the pre trained tokenizer file that you had right so we'll see it in our experiments when we start training the model right so i'll end this uh, section on tokenizers here so please uh, try all of this on your own right and try to understand uh, every uh, piece of code what is the output is it expected based on the parameters you have passed and so on so please practice with this and hopefully you'll get a better hang of what all you can do with the tokenizer package thank you mm -hmm.